eaten him. It would have jumped up in the air to bite his foot, but he pulls up in time. There would have been more you know force lightning. Man at arms and Tila would have tried to join in at some point. You know, he probably would have like taken them. Uh, force lightning. <laughs> was it chicken or ribs? Yeah. Which was it? Because it was a rib place. And then, like, you know, Tila and, and Gwildo are eating ribs, and all of a sudden, Man at Arms just has a drumstick out of nowhere. He uses that drumstick to pick a lock, and he releases all the prisoners that Skeletor's had. And then those crazy designed prisoners battle the stormtroopers. So you have Ooh, a huge th- battle. What do you think? So, the, yeah, his guard were like, even like, they're like stormtrooper level with their accuracy. Like, they didn't, did they hit anything in this movie that was organic? Or was it just anything? Were was it, were they just like the uh, the scourge the the scourge of like interior design? Well, they just like, can't they just see like, with those things. Apparently, so if 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 Skeletor's army had a fight with the stormtrooper army, who do you think would win? Stormtroopers all day. Well, all the, right. cl- other the clones troopers from uh, Attack of the Clones are just nailing things. <laughs> Crappy regular stormtroopers who were touted for their accuracy in the first movie and then don't hit a damn thing. Okay, well, those stormtroopers could take off their masks easier and have better sights. The, Good point. The one in Masters really can't take off their masks too quickly. So I'm going to give it to the stormtroopers. Give it to the stormtroopers? All right, I got you. That's good logic. So we got this massive battle going on, right? Just battling forces. Dolph has the power. Skeletor. Do you think, do you think he's going to throw any more statues easily? Because he... he, he dumped that one before he had the power now that he has the power do you think he's just like cutting down statues and like baseball swinging them across the across the uh courtyard there oh absolutely at, at drop Mexico? dropping them on people swinging knocking it down mecha skeletor is just going wee wee he's throwing them like chiclets like uh palpatine does in revenge of the sith just throwing those pods <laughs> the democracy pods around like chiclets like they're easy so they're throwing them at they're, each other man they're, they're jumping they're, there is one moment where he took the the Buick Slayer earlier in the movie and just like threw it really nice, and he's, he's like really accurate with that. I'm gonna say there is a one point where they're going at it and there's some distance, and he just turns around and whips it, and it happens kind of like where it's going, 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 end over end, and it stops like right before it hits Skeletor in the face, and the points right there, and it just, and it just turns around and launches back at He Man, and he snags it out of the air. I love that. That's my that's my contribution. And then they, and then they they just look at each other silently and nod, knowing that they're evenly matched, and then they just go back to town swinging. I want a scene where he gets his sword stuck, the Buick Slayer stuck in his helmet, in Mecha Skeletor's <laughs> helmet. It rips it off, and he's just swinging, he's swinging Mecha God, Skeletor around, like whoa, whoa. Trying to get or it's like, uh, 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 remember Hulk from um, Avengers slamming Loki back and forth? So he has the helmet and he's just going. <laughs> well, they're like around. antlers. So he every time he swings, his Skeletor can just duck, but it takes off a little piece of the antler every Whoa. time. And then eventually there's nothing there. So the last time he swings, he just kind of comes down the middle and splits it. Oh, man, I would love that. <laughs> we got to have a scene with a catapult where it just shoots him head first at He-Man. And it, and it. <laughs> Kills man at arms. And yeah, chicken, they were... in slow motion, the chicken goes flying up in the air, and you just see drumsticks in the air, and Tila and uh, Qui Gon, the little guy, and oh, Dol- 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 <laughs> are, are just Liam are, 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 all, are all just are all just crying, and the chicken flies in the air in slow motion like a John Woo uh, action film, and then it tumbles on the ground, and then Skeletor just pulls. His helmet, it takes a while to take his helmet out of Man-at-Arms. It's like, whoosh, and there's just this blood dripping down his helmet and onto his face. And Man-at-Arms last words are, never think when you're hungry. And then he dies. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone swimming. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, listen, then you have that. And then how does he die in, in our in our movie here? How does, uh, ooh, how, how do they win the day? Yeah. What? Oh, no, I got an idea. Can, can we do I'm going to, yes. Okay. We got to have Evil Lynn being like, man, Skeletor sucks. And then she helps because he's always yelling at her. Oh, you think you're that good? Well, blah, blah, blah. You failed. No, yada, yada. And she's always so loyal to him. She just, she, she pulls, she goes face and throws the sword to He-Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to have He-Man disarmed at some point. Mm-hmm. So let's say Me- Mecha, Mecha Skeletor finally gets sick of He-Man's crap and actually unleashes the power of the master of the universe and He-Man can't take it and the sword goes flying and he actually gets him to kneel and he's yelling, you kneel! And he finally forces him down kneeling because the power is gone because the sword is gone. And then, yeah, Evelyn can toss it back to him. Wow. 
and, and he man wow shoves it right through his stomach and because we never heard it in the movie before but you hear it all the time in the cartoon you just hear skeletor go yeah <laughs> once he gets stabbed <laughs> Does he twist or it? That's, or that's his last word. He just turns around and goes, Evelyn, and reaches out towards her with a shaky hand and goes, yeah! and then he falls down in the pit, and you just hear it echo. Yeah! And then a monster eats him. There you, there you go. And then they go to a concert at the high school afterwards. And he's and he's not playing with the keyboard. He's playing with a specially made key that Gwildor made for him. That's his special synthesizer that gives him uh, uh, hologram backup dancers and uh, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. And, and, and the, it blows the roof off. And Dolph is singing a little, little less conversation, a little more action, because he did that in the award <laughs> show. Have you ever seen that? No. Oh my dude! If you're listening to this, type in, less conversation. No, no, he nails match. it. So he's singing this song, nailing it at a Swedish award show, and he's not. He's breaking ice blocks. He's doing karate moves. He's doing choreo like choreo like choreographed <laughs> dance moves. It's beautiful. I'm not even making fun of it. It's amazing. You gotta, you gotta watch send it. me the link as soon as we're done with this. All right, sounds good. But uh, this was fun, man. Any final thoughts about this fight? Um, it's uh, man needed needed more uh ne- needed more force lightning uh needed more uh, uh stones being thrown needed more James Tolkien with the shotgun. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, I like that guy. Oh, you all know you've been great. At he the runs end, they just give him, at the end they give him a random wife. <laughs> I yeah. know. I found it's this so bra weird. here. I've been here for a day well, and it, I have a wife. Oh, here's it. He had to earn that wife. Here's what happens. He's pumping up all the rounds of the shotgun. Bam, bam. The the soldiers are falling down one next to the other. He runs out of shells and he's just looking at the shotgun. When he looks up, another guy's coming at him with the with the with a you know uh, the rifle. Why trying to hit him with it? Why does he not shoot him? Because he's dumb. He comes over. He blocks it with the shotgun. He grabs the other guy's rifle, punches him in the face, takes the rifle, and just lays waste to the rest of the enemies. And because that is why there's no one else during this main fight between He-Man and Skeletor. That's how he earned his wife. Remember on Spaceballs when she gets shot, like her hair gets shot, and then she <laughs> just lights hair. up. Yeah, lights Suck up everybody. Bitch. Yeah, boom, oh, boom, boom, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. That's what he does, essentially. It's pretty good. Pretty good <laughs> for a girl. Hey, that's pretty good for Rambo. <laughs> Barf. Not in this yeah. car, miss. This is a Mercedes. But yeah. <laughs> So he just, I love it. He wipes out everyone and he gets a wife. Yeah, I think that's canon now. That has to happen. In, yeah. in the director's cut, that's what happens. In the canon films in the... <laughs> produce movie, this is now canon. In, in the canon films canon, that's what happens. Oh, dude, this was fun. Well, thank you for joining me, man. Absolutely, man. Thank you. All right, so for me, Mark Hoffmeyer, and for Nathan LeHay, this is Final Fights. We'll see you next week. Yeah! <laughs> I have the power. A little less conversation, a little more action. Dolph Lundgren, watch it.